Hi everyone, April here from Piano Lessons Info and today this video is going to be about one of the chord families and that is the seventh chord. So uh, the seventh chord is one of the first four note chords that people learn. It's quite common so it's uh, an important one for you to learn. So today we'll talk about um, kind of the theory behind them, how to figure out what they are, uh, the shortcut, how to figure out any seventh chord no, uh, seventh chord and what they sound like and we'll even play some common ones. Okay, so a seventh chord, for example, C7 sounds like this. Okay, so if you see these notes, they, they're made up of the C, E, G and B flat. So that's a C7 chord. A seven chord is written, you know it's a seven chord if it has the letter name and a seven, just a seven, no M, no big M, nothing, only a seven. So C seven, it could have a sharp or a flat, like B flat seven. It could have a sharp like, let's think of an easy one. <laughs> F sharp seven, that's not an easy one, but that's one. Okay, so that's another one there. So an easy way to figure out any seventh chord, if you know, uh, the major chord, for example, C. Uh, if you've never learned this pattern before, there's an easy way to work it, work out any major chord as well. So we play our first note, we skip three, play the next one, skip two. So that's the skip three, skip two pattern. Now to play the seventh chord, so here's your shortcut, we just skip two more and play the next one. Okay, so C7, if you, got, if you know the C chord, C major, skip two, play the next one, okay? A G7 chord, if we play the G chord, G, B, D, skip, skip two, and that's your G7 chord. So you should play seven chords uh, in the beginning with your first, second, fourth, and fifth fingers. Okay, you can invert these. You can move your F to the bottom to make it easier. Stick it in the middle. So it, you don't have to play a seven chord in its root position, which is having the note that it's named after at the bottom. Okay, so G7. So how a seven chord is made in terms of theory. So if, if you're not that familiar with chord theory, that's okay, we'll do some of it now. So uh, chords come from scales. So if we look at the C major scale, we've got the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so um, uh, seventh chord is made up of the first, third, fifth, and lowered seventh notes of the scale. So if you remember, the C7 chord had a B flat, but there's no B flat in the key of C. That's because this chord is actually in the key of F technically, but how to make it, you play your C chord, you count up to the seventh note, and you lower it, that means go down one semitone to B flat. Okay, so to lower a note, if we're on a white key, it means to go to the next black, black one. If we're on one that doesn't have a black one next to it, we just have to go to the very next one. Or if we're on a black note, we go to the very next white. So we're going left, basically the very next note to the left, that's to lower. So let's think about the chord in the key of G. So we have a G7 chord like this. So how we made this one is we thought about the scale. Now G's got an F sharp in its key signature. So we've got our major scale, one, three, five. We need to go to the seventh note of the scale and then we need to lower it so that's the theory that's how a G7 chord is technically made so the G7 chord is in the key of C that's why it has no sharps no flats okay so there that's just a little extra information for those who uh, know a bit about this and want a bit more okay so th this is basically how they sound they've got that they've got that second interval in them. That's a G7 chord. That's a C7 chord. That's an F7 chord. So uh, a lot of people 
prefer other types of sevens over these. Some people love these ones. Uh, they've been around a long time and they'll continue to be. So that's how you, that's that's basically a seventh chord in a nutshell.